Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over a qualitative description of two-dimensional projectile motion when an object is projected from a known height with a known initial velocity. This is the situation that we have. We have an object that is projected from a height of 30 meters with a known initial velocity of 37 meters per second. And when it does that, when it leaves that surface, then the object is going to follow this parabolic path. And one thing we want to be able to understand is why does it follow that parabolic path? Well, it follows that parabolic path because the object is really doing two things at the same time, and those two things are independent of each other. The two things that it's doing, it is moving with a velocity in the x direction, and it is moving with a velocity in the y direction. As I said, those two things are really independent of each other, but when we add those two vectors up, head to tail like that, we get the resultant vector, and that is the vector that is the velocity of that object. Now, in order to understand and to think about and to look at the velocity and the motion in the x and the y direction, we're going to fill out this table. This table has the time points, zero seconds, and then one, two, three, four. This is time equals zero. This is time equals one, two, three, and four seconds. And we are going to, as I said, look at the acceleration and the velocity in the x direction, and then the acceleration and the velocity in the y direction. All right. Now, in order to understand the acceleration and the velocity, we really have to ask ourselves, well, what is causing the object to accelerate and what is causing the velocity? And what is causing the object to accelerate is the forces that are acting on the object. Are they balanced or are they unbalanced? And the only force that is acting on the object at every point in time during its path is the force of gravity. The force of gravity points straight down. That is the only force. Now, a lot of people think, well, because the object is moving in the X direction also, there must be some force that is acting in the X direction. There is no force that is being act that is acting on that object in the X direction. There was some force over here somewhere which caused this object to get to this velocity, 37 meters per second. <clears throat> Excuse me. But once it leaves that surface and follows that path, two-dimensional projectile motion, there are no other forces. There is no force acting on that object in the x direction. The only force is the force of gravity acting straight down. Okay, as I said, we're going to look at the motion in the x and the y direction. Let's start with the motion in the x direction. These are some important points that you should remember for the motion of this object. In the x direction, the forces are balanced. There are no forces. Okay, the forces are balanced, and therefore there is no acceleration. The object is not accelerating in the x direction. Therefore, for each point in time, I'm going to fill in in the table that the acceleration is 0 meters per second squared. There is no acceleration. Well, if there's no acceleration, then the velocity must be constant in the x direction. Well, the initial velocity was 37 meters per second. Balanced forces, no acceleration, constant velocity. That means the initial velocity in the x direction and the velocity at each point in time is going to be 37 meters per second. So I'm going to put down 37 meters per second. All right? So let's just review that. Balanced forces, no acceleration, constant velocity. No acceleration, zero. Initial velocity, and because there's no acceleration, the velocity remains 37 meters per second. Remember Newton's laws of motion. Objects in motion tend to stay in motion. Objects at rest tend to stay at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. There's no unbalanced force, so therefore this object is going to stay in motion. All right, that is the motion in the x direction. Now let's look at the motion in the y direction. In the y direction, the forces are unbalanced. There is one force and only one force, the force of gravity, acting in the negative in the y direction. There's no force to balance that force out. So the forces are unbalanced. Well, if the forces are unbalanced, then the object must be accelerating. What is the acceleration of the object? Well, this is really free fall. Okay, two-dimensional projectile motion, a motion in the x, in the, excuse me, in the y direction 
is free fall and for free fall the acceleration is 9.81 meters per second squared or negative because the acceleration is in the negative direction the acceleration points downwards okay and the acceleration is a constant the force is constant therefore the acceleration is constant so the acceleration in the y direction at each point in time is minus 9.81 meters per second squared excuse me okay now, in the y direction, unbalanced forces, the object is accelerating. That means the velocity must be changing. All right, now, right when it leaves, just before, right as it leaves the surface, the velocity of the object in the y direction is zero. But immediately it starts to accelerate, and it starts to accelerate at a rate of 9.81 meters per second for every second. That means after one second, it has a velocity of minus 9.81 meters per second. The velocity is negative because the object is moving down, which we call the negative direction. After two seconds, because it's accelerating 9.81 meters per second for every second, now its velocity is minus 19.62 meters per second. Then at three seconds, it's three times the acceleration, and at four seconds, right before it hits the surface, the acceleration is still 9.81 meters per second squared and the velocity is 39.24. That's four times this value because it's accelerating 9.81 meters per second for every second and it's been moving downwards in the y direction for four seconds. Okay, so you can see that is the motion of the object in the x and the y direction. You need to think of them separately. Remember these important points for the x and the y direction. Okay, now just to review quickly, in the x direction, balance forces, constant velocity, no acceleration. In the y direction, unbalanced forces, changing velocity, and therefore we have acceleration, and the acceleration in the y direction is minus 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay, there you go. Please think about those points. Please remember the motion in the x direction and the motion in the y direction are separate from each other and we really need to think of them separate because in one case we have balanced forces no acceleration and unbalanced forces and acceleration okay thank you very much for watching i hope that gives you a better understanding of the motion for two-dimensional projectile motion thank you for watching i hope you found that helpful if you did please do all of the following three things Subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video and leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. We will see you in the next video.